Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Coach Lizzie here. God bless you. Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you all are doing well. Thank you so much for tuning in to Breaking Free. If you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, please, please, if you have not subscribed to the Breaking Free family, please do so today. Hit that like button. Please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up and hit that bell notification. That way you'll be able to receive all our uploaded content. God is so good, everyone. I am so blessed to be back. Uh, my birthday was on the 16th of January. I have been celebrating for the whole month of January. And so other than that, everything is going wonderful. It is just so good to be back uh, to drop another video. I know it's been a couple of weeks, but I am still here. I'm still around. And I want to let you know I love you guys so very much. Continue to thrive, continue to heal, continue to move forward and become the best version of yourself. God is wonderful. He is still sitting on the throne and he, he is in control of every single thing that happens in our life. I want to drop a quick video with you all today. I want to talk about um, co-parenting with the narcissist, co-parenting with the narcissist. Now, I know some of you all can understand uh, what I'm talking about. Uh, it is not an easy thing to do. These people are very, very controlling. They're dominating. Uh, they very abusive, not only to you, uh, if they have discarded you, if you have discarded them, they are very abusive mentally, emotionally, some physically, psychologically, mentally, and spiritually. They are also abusive to their children. They're disrespectful. They're rude. They're unkind. Uh, they mistreat the children. They keep the children from calling you, talking to you. Um, they make the children uh, do, and cert do and say certain things and act a certain way when they're not with you um, and around you. But I want you to know that God is in control. He will fix it. Oh, just got to continue to keep praying. Uh, I know it's a hard thing to deal with, especially when you're dealing with someone that is mentally challenged, that are mentally ill, unstable. Uh, these people are very jealous of you. They're very envious of you. They're jealous of their own children. Uh, they will try to triangulate you with your children, try to turn the children against you. Uh, as they have already turned other people against you, they're flying monkeys, their family members, co-workers, even people that don't even know you uh, hate you and can't even stay you because of the lies that the narcissist has told these people because they have been playing the victim but co-parenting with these people is very very wicked it's very hard um i know it's very challenging dealing with these people you cannot um uh, try to uh, negotiate with these people no matter how much you try to be the nice person try to work things out try to be calm and patient and rational these people don't do rational they don't do peace they don't do trying to get along they don't want to communicate they don't co-parent they don't it is a way another way of trying to abuse you in a narcissistic triangle so i'm here to let you know today because i'm speaking from experience that these people want you to be jealous of their new supply they want you to be jealous of their new life they want you to be jealous uh, because of the house they have the car they drive the the jobs they have and what they're doing for the new supply or what the new supply is doing for them they want you to be jealous because if you're not jealous then their plan is not working. If you're not reacting to the abuse and reacting to the way that they treat you, then things are not normal for them. These people work out of toxicity. These people work out of chaos. They don't like uh, peace. They don't like um, uh, unity, togetherness, uh, even the situation that they're in right now. They don't really love these people. They just pretend to love them because a new supply make them look good. The new supply make them look normal and make them look like uh, they are normal people. Even though these people need to be in a mental institution, these people need to be on medication. They need to be um, in psych wars. They need to have uh, a regular um, um, uh, sessions uh, with a psychologist, a psychiatrist. These people will not admit that they have a problem. These people will not admit that. Uh, there's something going on with them. They don't self-reflect. They're grandiose. They're proud. They're pompous. They're arrogant. And everything has to evolve around them. They want to be the one calling the shots. And when you co-parenting with these people, they want to be the one in control. You can't call them and, 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 and talk and discuss about, can you do this? Or can you all change this? Or can you do this this way? And even if it's, uh, against the court order. Even if you're co-parenting with a narcissist, you don't have to go by the court order. If you two can work together and co-parent with your children and make sure your children are living a healthy, safe, um, 
life in a, in a good, healthy environment. But the narcissist don't like that. They feel like if they're co-parenting with you or talking to you, it seems like they like you, that they're getting along with you. And they would definitely not make any deals with you because it's like they're doing what you say. And so they have to make the new supply think that they hate you. They can't stand you. You've done all these horrible things to them. So they have to play the part, even though they know that you're actually the victim and they are the ones that actually did all this stuff to you. They actually victimized you. And so co-parenting with these people, um, they don't care about if the children sick. They don't care about uh, the weather. Uh, they don't care about if you're sick, they don't care about it. if your car break down. They don't care um, because they left you as a single parent. They left you uh, without you even knowing they were leaving. And they left you because they were cheating or they was committing adultery or they was doing some 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 weird, crazy, psychotic stuff that um, you didn't know about. And so they get out of there really quickly. They hurry up and leave because they don't want to be able to be held accountable um, for what they have done. They don't want you asking them questions. They don't want other people asking them questions. So they hurry up and they get out of there. And so there is no co-parenting tactics. There is no um, rationale. There's no reasoning. Uh, again, they don't care if the children are sick. They don't care about your car broke down. They don't care about what your situation is. Uh, they don't care about what your work schedule is like. They don't care nothing about you, period, because they hoping that by them saying no to you for everything is going to cause you um, for your life to even be disrupted even more. The key is here is the narcissist wanted to break you. They wanted you to fail. They wanted you to be homeless. They wanted you to be out on the streets. They wanted you to be crawling and begging back for them. They wanted you to be begging for money and bread and, 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 and cake and cookies and whatever they think that they had to offer because they want everyone to think that they were the ones that you were the reason why they were surviving. These people don't understand that God is the one that's been taking care of you. Whether they were working, whether you were working, however your situation was together, it was because of God that that situation was uh, moving the way it was because it is God that blesses us to get wealth. It is God that blesses us to be able to get up and go to work and be in good health. The narcissist didn't do anything for you and you didn't do anything for the narcissist. It was because of God that allowed us to be able to get up to do anything for ourselves, more or less for each other. But with that being said, these people are hard to deal with. So I'm just here to let you know today, don't stress yourself out. Be prepared for the unknown with these people. Be prepared to hear them say no on a regular basis. And if they do say yes, it's because it benefits them. It's because it benefits the new supply. It's because it benefits their schedule. The only time that these people will try to reason with you and work with you and offer you anything is because it benefits them. It benefits the new supply. It benefits their new family. It benefits their schedule. That's the only way the nurses will ever come to you and decide to ask you about changing the schedule or, um, something different with the children, uh, that is the only way they're going to do it. It's never going to benefit you. It's never going to benefit um, the situation with you, even though they know that you're um, trying to, to toss and balance everything by yourself. See, the narcissist got with the new supply because they don't have to do everything by themselves. They got somebody to be a mommy and a daddy to their children. They got someone to pick their kids up from school. They got someone to get the dry clean. They got someone to have sex with. They have someone uh, that they can call a husband or a wife or a girlfriend or boyfriend. They have someone to help them look normal at church, look normal on social media, look normal to their boss and everyone else around them. The new supply is there to cook their meals um, and to be their slaves, but they love bomb the new supply and make them think that they love them so much and they're doing all these wonderful things for them. But back behind closed doors, they're lying to them. They're manipulating them. Uh, even their relationship is not even real. It's not even true because it's been founded on your pain and your hurt and the lies and deception. These people are just a fill in. These people are just something to fill the void until the narcissist finds something else or does something else. But co-parenting with these people I just want you to know, don't get yourself all frustrated and stressed out. They're not going to reason with you, even though you go to court, even though they say they're going to um, 
be involved in mediation, even though they say they're going to do this and do that. They'll say those things in front of the judge. They'll say those things in front of the court. But they know good and well, as soon as they leave, they're going to be a worse monster to you than where they were before. And even if they do negotiate with you, they're going to tell the new supply, it was you begging them to help you. It was you begging them to do this. It was you, you, you. It's going to always be you. Because they don't want the new supply to know that they even asked you um for any changes or ask you for any um uh extra um changes when it comes to the children they will show up sometimes early so now i'm telling they'll show up late sometimes uh at the pickup and drop offs and i'm not saying that things don't happen some of you all and myself have done late pickups and drop offs sometimes but you you let the, the narcissist know you know that you know you're running later you're on your way or whatever but i'm just saying intentionally i'm talking about intentionally just doing things to hurt you intentionally you know because sometimes you can't control traffic you can't control what happens but we're talking about intentionally trying to uh cause you problems or issues you might ask the narcissist to keep the children an extra day or two or can you keep the children an extra day or two they're going to tell you no because they're not going to reason with you everything from the narcissist is no 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 unless it benefits them and the new supply of their new family i just want you to know that you know uh, some days you're going to get frustrated. Sometimes you think you want to cry because you can't believe that you're dealing with such a person. How could they do this to their own children? How could they not be compassionate about their own children? How can they not understand that the child is sick or the weather is bad? They don't care nothing about that. One thing I realize is when you have two healthy parents, I'm talking healthy parents, not toxic. When you're dealing with a narcissist, there's one healthy parent, there's one toxic parent. And we know who the toxic parent is. It's like you're co-parenting by yourself. It's like you're raising the children by yourself. Whether they paying child support or not, they'd have to be forced because they didn't volunteer to pay child support. They're angry because they have to pay child support. And what they're paying is not even enough to even pay somebody to mop your floors for you every month. They don't care about if you're struggling with the children. They don't care if the child have bread at home or not. They don't care if you're able to pay the bills or make sure the lights stay on and their children live there. They don't care about that. They want you to fail. They want you to be outside. They want you to be homeless. So that way they can make everybody see, oh, see, I told you. She can't make it on her own. He can't make it on his own because it was me. It was my finance. It was my job. It was my education. It was my, 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 all my resources that kept the house together, which basically they rolled off of your coattail. And the reason why they were there today was because they used you and I for a stepping stone. Don't expect anything from these people. Be prepared. To hear the word no. Matter of fact, don't even worry about asking. The best thing to do is find another way to work things out. Always have you a, a backup plan to a backup plan and a backup plan. Always have extra babysitters in place. Always have extra resources in place. When you have to do doctor's appointments and everything, these people can be very um, rude, disrespectful. Um, dealing with the narcissist on my end, um, you know, even if uh, our children have to have doctor's appointments or anything, the narcissist refuses to take the children to their doctor's appointments because it's on their time. You can only take the children to the doctor on your time, not on their time, because they look at it as, you know, that's my time. And I understand that. But if your children need to get to the hospital or they have appointments and everything, it shouldn't matter who time it is because it's supposed to be about the best interest of the child. And so that's why you have parents and step parents to be able to fill in to make sure the child get what they need. But the narcissists that most of us deal with, they are toxic people. They think that you're trying to control them and tell them what to do. They don't understand that it's about the best interest of the child. They don't care about the children. This is about being in the best interest of them and the best interest of their schedule and the best interest of their new supply and the best interest of uh, how they look in front of other people. They don't care about the struggles that you have to go through and the challenges that you have to go through and the situations that they left you in uh, to be by yourself to try to maintain things on your own. But it is a blessing uh, actually to be by yourself because now you know that it wasn't you. Now you know that it was the other person. Now you understand that this person is toxic. You have to tr talk to your children, pray with your children, uh, kind of let your children know in a way of kind of what's happening, not 
in full detail because they're still children they're not old enough to understand and 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 you shouldn't be putting those things on the children anyway but there's certain things you do have to discuss with your children so that way they can be aware of what's going on and co-parenting with them making sure that uh this new uh uh, uh step parent uh that's around the children they're not being abused mentally, emotionally, spiritually, psychologically, because sometimes these new supplies can be mean to your children because they cannot have children with the uh, narcissist. A lot of these women I heard, they can't have children anymore with the narcissist. Narcissists uh, probably only have just the child that you had with them. That's the curse that came upon them for in some situations for what they've done to you. So they're not able to produce anymore. Unless they go out and cheat on a new supply and have another child. But other than that, they cannot have a children with a new supply in some cases. And so as long as that uh, step parent, uh, regardless of how the situation came about, if they're being a step parent like they're supposed to and treat your child with love and respect, that's all that matters. And you're not fighting back and forth and arguing back and forth. The children don't need to see that. But the narcissist sometimes will try to... Uh, continue to ghost you, continue to give you the silent treatment to make you feel like you don't exist or you're not there or they don't see you. They doing that because they're miserable. They pretend that they hate you. They don't hate you, honey. They hate themselves. They hate themselves because they know that what they did to you, they can't stand to be around you. They can't stand to look at you. They can't even stand to hear your name because they know that it reminds them of what they did to you. But they got to make everybody else think that they can't stand the likes of you will look at you because of the horrible things that they claim you did to them, which is a lie. But it is really because they cannot stand to see you because they feel guilty and shame because they know you know the truth and they know the truth. And it's hard for your children to understand what is going on when you're dealing with a narcissist because I know most of us just recently found out that we were dealing with these people, these type of toxic Jezebel demonic spirits of people that call themselves men and women of God, but float around here hiding behind a facade. But God will soon expose everything. God says anything that is in done in the dark will come to light. Anything that is hidden will be brought out in the open. And that goes for you and me and anybody else that is doing anything or hiding anything that is not of God. It's not just for the narcissists, it's for all of us. But what I'm talking about is co-parenting with these people. It's like hell. So don't even worry about doing it. The best thing for you to do is just get around what you can get around. Do what you can do. Be prepared. Have a backup plan to a backup plan. Um, don't worry about asking the narcissist, can you do this or can you do that? Because it's almost like you asking for permission for them, for you all to be able to parent your own children. Well, you should be able to come together and do that. As long as a new supply, uh, whether male or female, as long as they're not mistreating your children, physically abusing them, mentally, emotionally, verbally, or spiritually abusing them, talk to your children. Now, you don't have to want to know what's going on in the narcissist house because that's not none of your business. It's not none of my business. But as long as the children are being treated right and they're not being abused, then you should be just fine. Now, a lot of these narcissists are abusing their children and a new supply abusing them too. But the system that we live in today, if the children don't have any physical marks, burns or cuts and things like that. The state don't look at mental, emotional, psychological and spiritual abuse. They don't they don't accept that. They don't look at that as abuse, even though it is a form of abuse. And that's exactly what the narcissist does to you due to their children and anybody else that's around them. So I'm asking you today to keep praying for your children, asking God to open up a door away to break this uh, bondage of wickedness and to remove your enemies from you and to ask God to, to, to release you and your children from this demonic spirit, from this demonic Jezebel. That's the best thing you can do. But most of all, keep your head up, stay focused, protect yourself, protect your children. Teach your children about boundaries. Teach your children about what is appropriate and what is not. Teach your children about mental, emotional, verbal, spiritual, psychological abuse. So that way they understand it. Some of them might be too young to understand it right now, but raise your children and teach them about abuse. That way they understand what is happening to them and what is not happening to them. And so... Uh, I've learned a lot more uh, dealing with the narcissist and co-parenting with a narcissist. You basically don't co-parent. You're the only parent, actually, because they don't see you as a parent. They don't even see you, period. Now, that's their fault and that's their loss, and they will pay for that, too, as well. But you just continue to stay calm, continue to learn how to respond and not to react, 
Don't let the narcissist in a new supply pull you down because the first thing they're going to tell everybody is, oh, you just jealous. Oh, you're toxic. Oh, you just mad because they with this person and you can't move on because that's exactly what they use every time. Even though we know that that is not true, that is exactly what they use. And every time a situation come up with you and your children and you have an issue with the narcissist, the first thing they do, the narcissist don't tell the new supply the truth. The narcissist don't tell the new supply what's really going on. They just turn around and say that you're just jealous because you haven't moved on because they together. If you all were, if the narcissist was so perfect to you and so good to you as they claim and they so perfect to the new supply, how could you mess up something like that? If you're a good person and they're a good person, but all of this is just to paint a bad picture of you, but who the narcissist is really, um, um, explaining to everyone is actually who they are. Everything that they say that you are is actually what they are. Don't feed off into it. Let the new supply and the narcissist move on. God's going to take care of that situation. All the fake and fraud, the lies, the smear campaign, all that's going to come out in God's timing. The focus is to make sure that the children are healthy, that they don't see the toxicity, help them to avoid any situation as much as possible. Um, teach them to just... Um, to be aware, teach them to speak up, to talk to their school counselors, their school teachers, uh, get your sons and daughters counseling uh, to keep them protected from the uh, narcissists. Uh, that way things are documented and you know what's going on with your children because these people will find every type of manipulative way to try to make you look bad, to try to make you look like you're jealous, especially if you're going through a divorce or been through a divorce. And your husband has walked off and left you or your wife has walked off and left you and, and remarried or dating someone else or engaged to someone else. Every interaction that you have with this person that is negative and not saying that you caused the negativity, but any negative situation that comes up with you in this, 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 that's all I can call it, is that they're going to make it seem like there's something wrong with you. They're going to make it seem like you're the problem. They're not going to tell them that they're toxic and they caused the situation. You all are having disagreements about your children because of them. They're not going to tell people that. Everything is going to be, you're jealous, you're jealous, you're jealous, you're jealous. And that's what keeps the new supply around. That's what keeps the new supply hanging on to uh, the narcissist. Because they making the new supply think that you want them, that you're jealous. That's going to make the new supply hold on to the narcissist even more even though it's a lie it's a way to triangulate you with this other person it's a way for the narcissist to make the new supply think that you know you better hold on to me because this person's still jealous this person still wants me so you know you better keep things together and stay on point because they want me back it's all a lie it's all a facade teach the children that mommy and daddy is not going to get back together if that is the case now i'm not saying in every case let them know that and explain it to them the best way that you can without uh, making the other person look bad or making yourself look bad or whatever. But try to explain it the best way that you can, because as they get older, uh, you'll be able to explain to them a little bit more about the truth. They're going to see it for themselves. Most of these children already know what's going on. They already see it, but they just can't speak out. They can't really say what they want to say because they're afraid of what the toxic parent is going to say or do to them or how they're going to treat them. I want you to know that the, the narcissist mistreats their children. They're jealous of their children. When they see their children uh, look nice or they're living better than what they thought they was going to be living, they treat them bad when they get to their house. They want to um, mistreat them to make the new supply feel um, happy and proud. They don't have any power in their own home with the new supply and their children. So they can't dominate the new supply. They can't dominate the new supply's children because those children don't belong to them. So what they do is they hurt their own children. They abuse their own children. They mistreat their own children and yell at them and make them do things because it makes them feel like they got power and authority in a house that they have no power and authority in. The narcissists don't have any power and authority. The, the new supply actually runs that household. And so, uh, with that being said, uh, you all have a great day. God bless until the next video.